Hi there. Welcome to Barb's Ink Art. Today we are going to do another abstract botanical similar to this. And we are going to be using four different colors of ink. These are all Ranger. This one is Laguna. Monsoon, one of my favorites. Cobalt and lettuce. We're also going to be putting a little layer of snow cap, which is a mixative, and it goes on a little differently than the regular alcohol inks, and it stays tacky a little bit longer, but it adds just this layer and depth to a painting that I really, really like. Um, again, 99% um, rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol and then we're going to be using some pens I don't know if you can see the numbers here but zero of course B258 R338 and uh, G243 and I will have this information in the material section um, in the film I also have, again, two of these electronics dusters. I keep two because I like um, having it just in case the tip blows off or it gets too cold to touch, which oftentimes is the case. And we are going to just enjoy being very loose with this. Um, I have right next to me my test sheets where um, they're just old paintings that I don't like and I test out the colors to see if I like them on that and I always have it right next to me. And we might use some um, micro daubers. I get these from Amazon and um, they come in, gosh, I think a 10 pack of 50 um, and they're really great. So Let's begin. Oh, and then I have a, a fine mist sprayer that I put alcohol in as well. And I think I'm going to maybe add some texture into the painting with that. So I think what I'm going to do is in the center, I, I'm going to start in the center first. And I think what I'm going to do is have it go this way, sort of. I kind of put the alcohol where I want it to go. And of course, it's already looking very pretty. Add a little more here. And monsoon tends to split, as you can see here, it gets this pink in it, which a lot of times I don't really like. It'll work out okay for this painting, I think. Mm, definitely will add a little layer. Um, okay, then I think I'll do I'm going to turn this this way. And that's cobalt. Okay, you can see I'm losing steam on that one. Yeah, see what I mean? That's what happens. Okay, that's turned out pretty. I'll just do a little bit more here. Um, okay, I'm gonna 
go a little more spring out. That was Laguna, which is a really pretty color, real pretty greenish blue. Like the prior flower I did, I just really like to add a lot of alcohol. Try to follow the lines that you establish, like the directional way the petals are going in the underpainting as much as possible so it kind of makes sense. Let's give that a little bit of a rest and let me spray some of this. It's fine mister and I hold it back a bit. It just adds a little texture to it. My, both my cans are kind of losing their oomph right now. It's actually looking really pretty. I think I need it to come down just a little bit more. work. It's a little heavy here, so maybe what I'll just do is add more ink or uh, alcohol. This is can number three. You go through these pretty quickly. You get a little cost prohibitive. down a little bit more. Let your alcohol do your work for you. Look at all the layers there. That is really pretty. I like that. Okay, I think uh, at this point, um, well, I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little scotia lettuce here.
Just keep playing with it. Um, when you get to a point where you think you like it, I like to just end there because sometimes I can overdo it. And I think I did that with my demonstration yesterday. Some sections that I think I just overdid and could have just easily left it alone. But hindsight's 2020. I'll make this work a little bit better here. just use the micro dauber on that because I got a little too thick. So I think what I'm going to do now is add some of this mixative. And I'm going to go you can see it just adds not a lot but just something that you can't really define. I think I'm a great fan of it. Um, it does not really respond well. I think it it's meant to be used with blending solution as opposed to alcohol. So alcohol doesn't really do much to it. So the great thing about that is that you can put down some snow cap and then you can layer your alcohol ink on top of that and it doesn't really move whatever is underneath around. Just be aware, it doesn't dry fast like alcohol ink does either. It takes a little time. It stays tacky. It just gives you sort of a hint of another petal. bit over here and then I'm gonna be done with this. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, so now for the stem and I am going to use the blue, if we can see this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use a blue stem with some green highlights. I'm just gonna, you know, you just have to go for it and just trust your instinct. I like to tap this on. Um, it just gives it a little more depth. Let me bring it around here. Let's take a little look at it every now and then and see if you're going in the right directions.
Okay. And then a smidgen of green. Let's start down here. And this blue and green, as you can see, really blends into a really pretty color. Um, now let me wipe, Let's see if I can wipe some of that away with this. Get a little bit of a highlight. use these zero pins so often that they get a little damaged and they run out pretty quickly which I think this one is about to let's see if I've got another one here okay this one should be better just run a little highlight make it seem a little sun-kissed Again, STEM is something I usually spend more time on the STEM than I probably will today, just because it can be such a beautiful part of the flower. Okay, I like that area. That is really pretty. Oftentimes, I have a little bit of a pop of color that comes out kind of like a bud, but um, I mean, we're not talking realism here, but almost like a, like a thistle comes out kind of spiky. I might do that here too, but uh, I always add a opposite color in these compositions uh, just because it gives it this pop that I think these sometimes need. And in this case, it's a deep red. And, you know, I'm not adding a lot, but just enough to sort of draw your eye to the painting. See, it just makes a, a difference. Sure, there's some kind of psychological reason we need this, but um, I just really think it adds something. I do a little bit of this here. Giving it a little pop it's turned a little more purpley it's pretty um, I think I'm gonna dab on a little alcohol just keep playing with it you know it's your imagination. It's a flower that you're creating from your imagination. And you can always add or um, blend. I think I want to come in with 
with a little more red, a little too purpley for me. Let's see if that'll work. Blend this in a little bit. And create some little lines here. Give it some direction. together. There's a lot of things going on in this. Part of the stem. I'll take it out a little bit more on the edges. Um, and I don't know. I might want to pop in a little more color in certain areas. Um, Maybe some of this and just go into some of the folds. Just give that a little more dimension and darkness so you can visualize the, um, the depth of all these petals. You can go on forever creating with this because there's so much going on and uh, so much you can still do with it. You're only limited to what your imagination tells you you can do. Here as well. A little shadow. On the base. Um, I feel like I need some down here too. kind of judicious with this. Sometimes I just go a little too far when um, just simple can kind of work too. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to put something down here. I might sit with that for a little bit and decide. Um, A little bit of a plain jean, but for tutorial purposes, I think it's turning out good. I hope you try this because they are so fun. And as you can see, it really takes no time at all. And I would encourage you, if you can, to get your paints, you know, whether it's watercolor, acrylics, inks. Um, out as often as you can because you get more confidence when you play with your paints and you create and before you know it you just start getting better and more creative and then at some point you start coming up with your own color blends and your own designs and um, it's just a really great thing to do um, for all of us I think well, I am going to say that this is done. 
until I think otherwise. <laughs> but I hope you all try it. I um, hope you liked it. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section. If you have any questions, let me know. See you soon. So I wound up adding a little more alcohol to the top part of the stem and just spraying it a little with the air. And I really like the way that it turned out. You can see. Um, I think that just was a better choice. But I wanted to show you what I did. Unfortunately, I didn't film it. Anyway, have a good evening. So, looking at this a little while longer, I decided I do want to have a little feathery thing here at the bottom. Just because it looks a little plain to me. So, I'm going to drop some ink here. Give it a little spray. And I do really like that. Um, I got my little green in here. Do the same. You can choose to do this or not. It's all personal preference. It just seems a little nondescript to me. But I think that did it for me. I like it. Hope you try it. If you do, tag me. And uh, if you have any questions, again, just uh, send me a message. Bye.